Welcome to the Winner's Tackle Box brought to you by Academy Sports and Outdoors. We just finished the last tournament in North Division for Alabama Bastro here on Wheeler Lake. We're here at wonderful Ingalls Harbor. We took off this morning. 225 boats entered this tournament trail. We're in the last tournament. You guys ended up winners of the last tournament in the North Division. Alan Hayes, Danny Bishop. Guys, you had 23.23 pounds today. We covered a lot of anglers on the water this morning for about four or five hours. We knew it was kind of a, a tough deal. I think I said on camera this morning, I thought the teams that really focused on what they were doing made good decisions this afternoon. Like, let's say from 11 o'clock on, we're going to be the teams that were going to make a difference. I know we've already talked to you guys. We're going to get a little bit into your pattern. So when you were sitting out, this mor out here this morning before you took off, what was going through your mind of, of, of what you needed to do for the day? Hopefully nobody on our place. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you had a place you wanted yeah. to stop on. Yeah. We had an area. Okay. What we was, had several places on the Okay. Area. What was your boat number taking on? 216. So there was a chance there were guys sitting on your spot. Uh, we gave a very good chance. <laughs> were you able to get to your first spot? Yes. Yes. Okay. When you got there, what was what happened when you got there? Second cast, I caught a fish. Second cast, he caught a fish. What kind of size? Mine was a two pounder. He was probably a four. Okay. Four plus. Yeah. Okay. So you confirmed. You knew fish were there for practice. Yeah. You yeah. got there and you, you got the confirmation. You started yeah. catching them right off the bat. Did you stay in that area or did you start moving around? We'll stay there. Stayed there within a hundred yard stretch. Okay. The whole time. So you moved a little bit to maybe, yeah. maybe let the spot refresh? Yeah. Well, they were sort of scattered up and down the ledge. Okay. Okay. Was there anything specific on this ledge that was better than another? Like anything to help the fish better? We will see y'all next year. Don't give a big round of applause to these guys. Okay. 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 Yeah. Was this river channel edge or creek channel edge? River channel. Okay. Yeah. Now, lots of times in these river systems, that, that, that the brush that you're talking about, the wood structure, that kind of comes and goes, you know, the yeah. current, the current yeah. gets it lodged in there. Yeah. How do you find these places? In your practice period, how do you find these places? Down scan, okay. side scan. Okay. Yeah. Went along the main river channel look, looking for yeah. these, and as you see, see them, you mark them? Yeah. Exactly. Did, did you see fish in this area on your electronics? Some, but, yeah. I mean, we couldn't really tell what they were. Yeah. I mean, there was a lot of bait there, too. Right. So right. that helped. So you knew it had all the ingredients yeah. necessary yes. to, to be productive? Yes. Right? Did you have any other boats try to fish these areas throughout the day? Oh, yeah. Several. Okay. <laughs> so you weren't the only team that found them, uh, but you got to not. them. You got to them and, and made the most of it. Yeah, yeah. we hunkered Once down. Once we got there, we stayed. Okay. How many total fish do you think you caught today? Uh, what, a dozen? Yeah, uh, probably. 14, 12, 14. Yeah. yeah. We saw a mixture of smallmouth and largemouth thing waiting. Were you all, all largemouth? Did you catch any smallmouth? Caught one small. One okay. smallmouth. Okay. But it was only probably a pound and a half. Okay. So we knew immediately we weren't going to need it. Right. Okay. We've talked a little bit about pattern. Let's, let's get a little bit about bait. You know, once you get to you start catching them, how do you how do you make the decisions of rotating through your lures? Obviously, you stayed in this area for quite a while. Mm -hmm. did, did you offer these fish a lot of different options? Yeah, we started out with top water, or I did. And, you know, 30 minutes later, we changed to going something on the bottom okay. and cranking. Okay, so you give them some options. Mm -hmm. um, what were the techniques that tend to work best? Well, probably the plastics, so, okay. the slow, you know, of course, he caught one really good one on crankbait, but, you know, he fished it a fair amount after that and never got bit again. So, you know, it, they just didn't really seem to want to chase right. anything. Right. You know, evidently that fish just happened to be right in the perfect spot when he made that catch is probably a reaction bite right. more than anything. Okay. You know, so the, the presentation for these plastics, Texas rig, Carolina rig, a jig head? What Te were, Texas rig. Okay. Were these large plastics or small plastics? They were large. Larger. Yeah. Okay. Were you imitating any type of bait fish or anything with these plastics? No. So I'm taking, not a swim bait. I'm taking it was <laughs> like a worm of some sort. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Or a creature bait. Okay. Okay. Any particular color that seemed to work better than another? Uh, either June bug or green, green pumpkin. pumpkin. Okay. Was the two colors that we rotated back and forth. With. Okay. Your your rod, reels, line size, anything that was key in, in, in being able to get the bites there and making sure you got the fish in the boat once they bit? Four carbon. Okay. What yeah, size? 15. 15 to 20. Okay. Okay. So that's heavy enough you can actually, you know, you're not you're not having to play these fish too much. Uh, you can pretty much get them into the boat fairly quick. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have any lost fish today? No. I don't think so. No. Never lost a fish. No. I don't think we missed some fish now. Okay. Not, not didn't lose them. Didn't miss, but a couple probably. Right. Yeah. We okay. Have, we have to get those fresh. All right. For those that are watching, if they were to go to Academy Sports and Outdoors tomorrow 
and come to this lake and fish, what would what would be your suggestion to them of, of, of the type baits that they need to put in their tackle box to come here? Creature baits and big worms. Big worms. Bombs and big like yeah, got some hooks and some weights and what, what size weights? Maybe sixteen. Okay. So eight. So like small. big yeah. ribbon tail worms? Yeah. 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 Okay. I mean brush big brush on. Like yeah. Okay. Up. That and four carbon line and they should be good, right? Yep. Yeah. Should be good. Yeah, it's ten thousand yeah. dollars for winning this tournament. Great job. These aren't easy to win. No. You guys no. are the champions today. No. Good way to end out the year in the North Division. Automatically into the championship. So you get to go to Wise Lake at the end, chance for a lot more money. Congratulations, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Folks, before you head on your next adventure, be sure to stop by your local Caddy Sports and Outdoors where you can find all this gear and more.